number one, Brick Wall University. Roland Bros, number 10, D Man Academy. Linden Track, 11, Bar Down Academy. Braden Pearson, number 12, Wheelan Academy. Zach Brenneman, boy, number 17, Boyce Middle School. Lucas Jones, 18, Checking Academy. Jimmy Halliday, 19, Little Pens Academy. Cam Pelly, number 27, from K-12 Online School. Rylan Calabrese, 30, Shutdown Academy. Uh, Owen Golanak, number 53, Bar Down Academy. David Trapple, number 57, and I'm from Clap Bomb Academy. Joey Costa, 59, Eden Hall Academy. Danny Foster, 88, Mercer Elementary School. Jack Carlson, 90, Back Check Your Butt Off Academy. Tyler Bullis, number 92, Hit Academy. D'Angelo Flume, 97, Top Shelf Academy. Good morning, and I do mean morning, Swirly Nation, and welcome back to Detroit, I mean Plymouth, Michigan, at the Plymouth, Michigan Cultural Center, Ice Rink, Hair Care, and Tire Center, for today's matchup between the Mid-Fairfield Junior Rangers and your Pittsburgh Penguins Elite, good morning everybody and welcome to Cine TV for this live semi-final, kind of semi-final, not really a semi-final, but the winner goes to the final anyway, semi-final game of the Detroit Challenger Series, joined in the oven by the Commodore, George Pearsall. Good to be back, Jeremy, and I'll tell you, these teams are both fired up, ready to go, the level of energy and excitement you see from both of these squads coming into the game this morning is uh, top notch. Big action today. Big action, it's number one and number two. It's the fourth time in two weeks Yeah, with these two squads. Eight days. And we've seen a lot of different games. We saw a 2-1 contest. We saw a 5-1 contest. We saw a 6-1 contest. So Lord only knows what this one's gonna look like. The starting lineups brought to you by the training table at the Lemieux Center. In net for the Penguins, number one, the squish tender, Squishy Evans. Your defense, 92, Tyler Bullis and 88, Danny Foster. Up front for the Penguins at wing, number 59, Joey Costa. Number 17, Zach Brenneman. And at center, number 90, Jack Carlson. As a shot comes in, wide to the cage. Mid Fairfield taking early possession. And we mentioned earlier, they were fired up. Yeah, you see these teams warm up. I, I can't remember the last time I saw a team, a Penguins opponent, that fired up, Jeremy, in the lobby. Um, really, really ready for this one. So the Penguins took two or three last weekend from this squad, and they were not thrilled with that. Nope. So <laughs> uh, including a 6-1 win in their last contest 
for the flightless birds. Yeah, the, so. last, the last time these teams played, Penguins won 6-1. to one. That has not sat well with Mid-Fairfield. Correct. And a centering feed from behind the cage by Golnack, defended by Mid-Fairfield, but the Penguins will possess in the Mid-Fairfield, and it rolls past Pelly's stick. He's challenged, uses the speed and body to get control, and Braden Pearsall on the back pressure. We need to turn, how do I turn off autofocus, Nick? Puck into the Penguin zone. It gets pushed up to Pelly, over to Pearsall. Pearsall looks to get it deep. Over to Flume. Nick, I have no idea what you're talking about. So you're obviously listening. Yeah, give me, what do I need to click in order to, whatever you're talking about is the squish tender makes a save down low. What a save by a squish tender. Look at that bench, Jeremy. Mid Fairfield is ready to go. As the Penguins clear the zone, here's Jones, a potential two on one with Halliday. Feeding it across, here we go! And Jimmy Halliday starts the scoring for the Penguins! He's shaking, baking, magic making! What a play there by the, the line combination of Halliday, Carlson, and Jones. Jeremy, they were the best wing tandem we had yesterday, and there you see Jones firing it across on the backhand to Halliday. The number one star of the game yesterday. You might not have seen the game. Our cameraman, Drew Carlson, was caught up in the action. What a goal by Halliday. It's fired into the mid-fairfield end again as the Penguins lead 1-0 early. Carlson behind the net. I mean, Jones and Halliday were on fire, like you said yesterday. Lights out. A rolling puck picked up by Carlson. Wedged down the wall, intercepted by mid Fairfield and brought back out through center, weaving to the middle, crisscrossing, creating some space as they spin it in front of the squish tender, and it stays out. Puck gathered in at the Ranger line. D to D, and they'll enter on a nice entry feed. Puck comes skittering through the net, the crease area defended by Squish as it's forced further by mid Fairfield. It's Burroughs behind. Up for Pearsall. Pearsall has it knocked away, so track will control to the outside. It's Costa there in front for Pearsall, gaining a step and gaining the Ranger end. Tries to dart to the middle, defended well by Mid Fairfield and I don't have their I did have their roster for a long time in my computer bag after last weekend and I don't know where I put that. I think I was a Jessup if I remember correctly. As Costa in leaving for Pearsall. He'll go to the point. Bolus fires it around behind. Rimming it to the opposite wall and here come Mid Fairfield. Into the pen zone with a three on two. As they put it between the wickets, it'll end up behind the cage. They battle for it there, it's Bolas in the corner, digging it out and coming free of the Penguins. Oh, what a pass by Carlson. Carlson finding Flume on the opposite side. He'll dump it deep as Brenneman jumps up on the four check. Brenneman out with Flume right now. Oh, still out, okay, never mind. He was finishing up a shift. Yep. Early time of possession, Jeremy, definitely in favor of Mid Fairfield, but the Penguins the first ones to get on the board. Here come the Penguins from behind their own net. Played up by Bolus, up the wall further by Flume, but turned back into the Penguin end to the opposite corner for Foster. Foster will jump in to the puck, firing it cross ice to Flume. Flume trying for Carlson, a bouncing puck will elude him. Golnack disrupts the intercepted play by Mid Fairfield. Carlson there in support. He'll fire one down low. Rebound comes out. Is cranked just off of a stick and wide by Flume. As the Penguins with another high end scoring chance there. That was a good one. That was a good look. Flume and Golnack combining to hound the puck here. As we see maybe a little bit quicker shifts here by the Penguins. You mentioned it yesterday, wanting to see the shifts a little bit faster. Maybe something they're focusing on here is I think we're on shift like eight yeah. of this period already. When you play these types of games against these types of opponents, you know, the shorter shifts are going to win out. And uh, to play at that level of energy, you're going to have to be on and off, you know, 30 seconds, really max, 30, 40 seconds. 
10-21 to play here, first period action. Penguins leading one nothing on the goal by Jimmy Halliday, assisted by Lucas Jones on a two on one for the Penguins to give them the early lead. D to D play, Ch Pelly to Chapel, his shot blocked, and back comes Mid Fairfield. Penguins again disrupt, no icing on the play as Chapel goes back to get it. He'll carry behind his own net, uses the body to protect, centers a pass to right to Pelly. Maybe a dangerous breakout, but an effective one as Cameron Pelly flies up ice. Here's Halliday with another missile that just misses. It'll be kept at the line by Pearsall and put back to the corner. Jones in after it. This line just creating with every turn. They really are. As Jones Look picks it off at the blue line, wedges it in front of the cage. And Mid Fairfield will clear to his coach. And what a snag by the assistant coach there, one handed. Yeah, looking sharp. Everybody's sharp on this uh, Mid Fairfield team. Uh, the cameraman says that he is still working to figure out the zoom. He's doing a great job. We appreciate him volunteering. That is the one, the only, Drew Carlson, father of Allie and Riley Carlson. Well, we don't know that to be true. <laughs> and, and Luke. And there might be another Carlson out there. He may have an impact today. As he does every game as the Penguins have a rolling puck that's taken away by Mid Fairfield. They'll dart into the Penguins end now. So what looked like a potential chance at one end ends up off the iron at the other and the Penguins clear. Wow, what a play. Carlson gains center red, will dump it in. Another short shift. He's going to start rolling these lines. You know Mid Fairfield's going to ride that number one unit. So if the Penguins can stay fresh, it's going to be good things for us. Well, and this will be game six for them. So... Yeah, will they start to wear his squish? Unable to make a save on that missile. And Mid Fairfield ties it at one. Yeah, that's light and dangerous forward for Mid Fairfield. Um, comes down the left wing side and just beyond the outstretched arm of the squish tender. Jeremy, I was going to say earlier, these teams have played four times. Three of the four times, the team to score first has not won. So it's not just about who scored the first goal, but also the second goal. So here we are, right back, not, a, not a really even. Brand new ball game. And the squish tender's gonna have to wave that one off. He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to uh, recover from it and stop the next puck. That's what goalies focus on, that's what they're gonna have to do. Yep. And it was a good shot. It was one you might want as a goaltender, but it was a good shot to the corner, heavy, from inside the, the uh, hash mark area, right at near that circle. As the Penguins work it deep in the mid Fairfield end now. Picked off by Pearsall. Down low for Flume. Potential give and go out of the corner as Flume puts it in front, oh. rebound battled for it's cleared by mid Fairfield. Good pressure there. And back they come on the rush. Stick lift by Flume forces a dump in, but mid Fairfield Reading it well, they're dumping to areas right now and attacking those areas. We saw them deploy the dump and chase almost exclusively in the games last weekend as now they work from behind the Penguins cage. Up top, at the point, shot comes in, Squish will kick that one away. Here's Carlson, able to bank it off the corner to the half wall but not out. Another shot from the point. Looked like that came off the Squish tender to the corner. Another shot from out top in front and Squish diving out to cover that one up. A centering feed got into the middle and got sent in towards the cage and Squish with a diving cover there, able to get that one underneath. Yeah, great play by Squish. It looked like that puck was sitting just outside the crease and he made an aggressive play to dive out and cover it. Penguins will control the faceoff. Turnover in our own end as Mid Fairfield tilts the ice here a bit. In the first, latter part of the first period now, as we're more than halfway through. 1-1 one, one tie here from Plymouth, Michigan in the Detroit Little Caesars Challenger Series. And back come the flightless birds here in flight as Hall it goes off Halliday stick to the corner. Supported down the wall by Carlson, Halliday will spin out of the corner, just powering towards the net before it's chopped away. Back come Mid Fairfield. Back pressure by Carlson as they'll dump it in again. This time it's Chappie to it. Near side as he plays it up the wall. Off of Halliday. 
and we'll have an offside play it looks like. Yeah, this mid-fairfield team clearly sees something um, where they want to consistently keep dumping that puck in. Uh, you know, maybe it's something about the way that we play. They think it's their uh, their answer, but uh, we see them probably more than any team we've played, Jeremy, looking to dump that puck in behind our defense and try to go to work. It looks like they're having their wings try to read where that space is that they're going to dump it to. As they circle back at their own line and we see another dump. This time it's picked off by Burroughs. He'll carry behind, rim it around for Brenneman. His twisting play at the blue line gets out the center, no further. We'll battle in front of the scorer's box. Penguins will win that battle as Costa comes free into the offensive zone, trying for Pearsall. That'll be picked off and back come mid-Fairfield. Rangers to the Penguins line. Great gap there by Burroughs. Able to disrupt the break in. He'll gain control in the corner and rim it around for his partner, Track. Crashing down the board is the mid-fairfield defenseman. Able to keep it in, and the Penguins will try the opposite side now. Again, pressured by mid-fairfield. I think this is what they see. Here we go. If they can get it deep, can Look. they out-pressure? But a mid-fairfield defender falls, and the Penguins have a break up the outside. Driving in, great to your living room as a centering pass comes off of Brenneman's stick. Out to center. In comes mid-fairfield, darting to the inside, now outside, fading it across. Defended perfectly by Bolas on that play. <clears throat> and the Penguins are back on the puck. Carlson's cross-ice pass picked off, and the Rangers are in business. Poke that Bolas in the corner. Puck bouncing around, it'll be Foster behind the cage, wedging it all the way up the wall. Crashing back is Golnack, picking it off here, Foster. He'll play it up for Golnack, and the OG taps it towards the middle. Once, twice, the rolling puck chopped at by Flume, but gathered in by the Rangers. And the Rangers back into the Penguins' end, carrying inside, outside, shot wide to the squish tender. It'll act as a bit of a breakout pass for Golnack. He's supported on the play from behind by the Penguins' defenseman, Foster, who's able to Murphy dump it out the center, right to the hands of Carlson, who centers it oh for boy. Bloom. Around one, back to Carlson. His oh. shot down low is kicked away with a dandy of a toe save by the mid-fairfield masked man. Yeah, Flume's flying out here this morning, Jeremy. I'm looking for big things, from, big things from him. Puck battled for in the corner. It'll be Golnack digging away. Pearsall popping free with it as the Penguins try to set up a down low cycle on the Rangers here. Good body position by the Rangers to dislodge the puck, but absolutely no quit in Pearsall. He comes away with it, driving into the middle. He's by himself against five. He'll find Pelly at the point for a shot that deflects and is off the blocker and out. Here's Halliday. As the Penguins had a line change, can they take advantage of fresh bodies here? They'll get control with Chappie at center. Able to fire it off the stick of Halliday. In comes Halliday. Yes! And he tickles the twine with a twisted wrister. Jimmy Halliday, my goodness. What a weekend for number 19 for the Penguins. He was not to be denied yesterday, got the puck and just ripped it low. I actually think the, the shot caught the goalie off guard, Jeremy. And the Penguins back out in front, two to one pence. Jimmy Halliday again. From player of the game to this performance, he has not stopped. As the Rangers will dump it into the Penguins zone. And the Penguins did take advantage of that long shift by the Rangers, able to get a change as Pierce saw in Halliday again. He just missed the far corner. Get him the puck. Pelly with it, has it roll off of his stick. It'll be icing on the Rangers if it's far enough and it is. Get him the puck, number 19. I'd be feeding him. Feed me. Hungry hippos right now, Jimmy Halliday. We want to say hello to, of course, Aunt Stephanie chiming in. And at Chuck Fish, thanks for joining us again. He's been a great chatter over the last two days. Love having you here. Thanks for joining us. Remember, you can hit the subscribe button. Once you do, you can chat with us here in the booth as we strive on and on for more and more members of Swirly Nation here on Cinnamon Swirl TV. The Rangers will dump it in behind the Penguins cage. Track will get there, reversing towards Burroughs. Burroughs will get it and wedge it up the wall. Penguins getting it out to center. It's Costa. It's cross-ice pass for Brenneman intercepted. And back come the Rangers. 
Burroughs, great mm. gap, forcing the Rangers off sides. Excellent. Uh, we've mentioned it now two, three times in this one. The USS Rowan Burroughs back there just gapping up and disrupting those that's entries right. by the Rangers. And maybe that's another reason why they're relying on that dump so much is the Penguins' gap on their defense is so good. That's right. A bouncing puck in on Squish. He sets it up for Burroughs. Reversing for Track. Track. Under pressure in the corner, and the Rangers play takeaway. It's tossed up the wall. Costell send it out. The center, Brenneman right there. I'm sorry, this is Golnack. It was Flume to Golnack. Golnack's in. Firing one. That's blocked and cleared. And back come the Rangers. But to the puck first is Pearsall. Now it'll be Bolus trying to dump one in. He'll end up in a battle along the boards that Flume will win and fire it in. The Penguins get to the dump and chase. And chasing it is Golnack, and who's going to win that? We all could have guessed, but playing takeaway come the Rangers. It's a potential two-on-two two here. As they come back in, nice fire play. on a beautiful block by 9-2 Tyler Bolus. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Brother Bo Brody playing up in Buffalo this weekend. I believe a big game this morning as well. As the OG will dump it in just on net. Picked up by the Rangers. Minute and a half to play, first period. As the bouncing puck is chopped away at center, back pressure from Halliday. It rolls free, and here come the Penguins. Halliday back on the ice. And the Rangers will be offside. I think it might be the second time I've seen offside that may have come off of Halliday's stick and been called on the Rangers. Uh, he's got the touch right now. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. I love it. It's a Halliday. <laughs> in Detroit this weekend. It is. Here's uh -oh. Pelly. Two oh. Rangers collide. Penguins gets a little bit of space here. They haven't had much of it, but Pelly takes advantage finding Carlson. Carlson darting down the outside, leaving one for Jones. Jones chops at it, plays it behind, looking for Carlson. The Rangers will counter attack up the wall, and it'll be icing on mid Fairfield. Yep. That'll give them a chance to recycle that unit out there, I'm sure. And we do see them come right back out. That's true. Yeah, look at this. 50 seconds left. and Penguins will have an offensive zone draw on the far side. We're going to go to intermission at the break and see what producer Paris, joining us from the truck in Pittsburgh, has to say. As we do have some questions, we'll explain the seating here to start the second period. As when I mentioned, this is kind of a semifinal game. <laughs> These two teams are undefeated, both 5 and 0 in the tournament, and the other semifinal game consists of a team that is 2-2 and 1 and a team that is 1 and 4. So <laughs> that's the way the semis are working here in this one. But uh, Mid Fairfield, they, they aren't going to quit. Great play by Pearsall to keep it out. As Mid Fairfield regroups at center. 12 seconds left. Weaving into the Penguins end. They'll fire one. Blocked by Chappie. Cleared by the Penguins to the line, but not out. Chappie injured yeah. by that. He's in pain right in front of him. He got to the house and made another play, yeah. I think. So he, he's, he's stung by the shot, makes another play. We're going to go to intermission here. We'll be right back with second period action.
Welcome back here, second period action. Trying to fix some auto zoom focus something or other, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we got it fixed. We're gonna go with it the way it is. It's nice a push tender. Blockers one to the outside, good rebound control there by the Penguins and it's up the wall and the Penguins are out the center in the form of Flume. Flume carrying on to the Ranger end. All the way behind the net. He'll possess. Switching here with Golnack. Golnack playing it deeper again for Flume. Rolling puck comes up and bounces out the center. It'll be Burroughs. Burroughs for the Penguins. Tossing it up to the blue line. Picked off by the Rangers. They're coming back in numbers. Three on two here as they'll fire. Blocker saved by the squish tender. Great play by squish. Two early chances here in this one as the Rangers bring that 16-12-87 unit back on the ice. Rangers possess in behind, up to the point. Laid back to the half wall, winding, foul! Oh! Squish flashes the leather! What a save by Squish. Reaching across, flashing the leather. Jeremy, that one was ticketed. That was, was it go going in? That was going in, what a save. I couldn't tell if it was wide or not. Squish, Squish could, and he made this, <laughs> makes a stop. As the Rangers, three heavy scoring chances to start period two here. So we're gonna see that pushback that everybody knows is coming from this mid Fairfield Junior Ranger team. As Bolas gets the puck, he's clearing it out the center and they'll battle at the line. It'll be dumped in this time by the Rangers. Foster back to get it. We hear the train, the, seven, eight, the 728 here in Plymouth. As uh, they battle along the boards, Pearsall able to get it up to Halliday. Guess who? Halliday just ripping through defenders as the Penguins play, deploy the dump and chase tactic. It'll be Pearsall hounding the Ranger defense. Battling in behind Halliday and Pearsall. Comes free Jones in that F3 position able to pick it off. But the Rangers swipe it right back out the center. Penguins will regroup there. Oh, I love that play by Bolas. Bolas to Foster. Foster right up the middle off the boot of a Ranger. Yeah, one of the mid-fairfield defenders does not have a stick here. And the Penguins are in their zone. Pearsall pulling up. Ooh, Penguins boy. changing a saucy dish to the point controlled by Pelly. He'll wrap it around. He tries to go back to the point. Picked up by the Penguins and dumped in. Brother Joey on the forecheck, able to play takeaway. His centering pass blocked one. Second one comes through off a skate to the area in the corner. It'll be cleared by the Rangers, cut off by Chapel at center. Right back up for Carlson. He'll leave it for Pelly. Pelly in on an offside play. Maybe good. The Penguins looked a little yeah. disjointed there. Yeah, Jeremy, something else as we as this game goes along. You know, one of the, the hallmarks of this Penguins team is the high, the low to high, high to low play in the in the offensive zone. We need to be very careful when that puck comes to the point uh, not to have these shots get blocked, right? You don't want these odd man chances. That tends to be when, when this mid Fairfield team gets rolling, it tends to be breakaways, two on ones, three on ones. We want to keep throwing that puck to space the way you saw Foster doing earlier this weekend. I think that's going to be the, uh, the ticket just to keep that puck away uh, from our zone. I think that's a recipe for success. Rangers are off sides on the play here. So we'll reset. The other thing I think with that as well is we saw it earlier from Jones. That F3, able to attack downhill for the Penguins, but also be back in that defensive position yep. to not give up those odd man rushes. Making them come through three and four Penguins it will be key as the Penguins wedge it into the mid Fairfield zone. It's Pickle stabbed forward by Costa. Stopping and starting in the corner, creating spaces. Brenneman, he'll go low to high. Like we've talked about, heavy shot from Pelly. Skips all the way through just wide of the net. Carlson will get there as the puck comes out the center. He and Chappie decide who takes it. It'll be Carlson. Carlson's cross ice pass intercepted. But the pressure of Brenneman forces further into the Ranger end. No battle in deep. Wrapping one around, bouncing puck in front. And it comes free for a shot, and oh, oh, I, was, thought, I thought that was in. I thought Carlson had it. Not sure what that hit on the way. My guess is the netminder. As Chappie controls, Penguins answering the early Ranger pressure with a few minutes of, of just 
domination there of, for themselves as a rolling puck just avoids the stick of flume. He gets it the second time and forces one just wide of the cage. Can they keep it in? Can they get? They got a whole line shift, the line change. The OG working down low. Here's a puck. Freedom. A flume oh. with a heavy shot that's gloved in hell. There you go, Jeremy. There's that second period pressure. Penguins able to get a full line change in. Fresh bodies hemming them in the zone. Uh, that's winning hockey right there. Love to see that. The rest of this game in that end. Let's do that. Yep. I would, that's fine. <laughs> As the uh, mid Fairfield's going to counter with the, uh, the 87 unit here. The Penguins win the faceoff. Track down low to the corner. Here's Pearsall. It'll be gathered by Flume on the opposite side now. He comes up and reverses back down low to Pearsall. Puck rolls over his stick and he's bodied against the boards. Flume back to the other side now to keep it in along the half wall. You mentioned Flume seemed to be everywhere. There's a prime example, making yep. a play on the one wing. Back to the other wing to pressure. As track disrupts things at center, the Penguins put it back in the Ranger end. The Rangers regroup D to D and fire it up off of a player. It's no icing as it touched him at center and the Rangers deploy the dump and chase. And the Penguins under pressure. It'll be Pearsall digging it out. He'll find D'Angelo Flume. Flume up the outside to the red line. Couldn't quite dump Ooh. it deep as he's dumped on the play. Penguins Golnack battling. Flume able to get back up, but the Rangers onto the puck and into the Penguins end. Cutting to the middle for a shot off the squish tender. Chopped out. Rebound comes free. They'll pull it around in front, and the Penguins swipe it all the way down. It'll be icing, but an icing will take. I love that play by Bros there. The puck into the house. Didn't make any mistake about it. Didn't think about it. Just fired that puck down to the other end. The Penguins have really been controlling possession early in the second period so far. And uh, when they got their best chance, it was the SS Bros to get that puck out of the danger zone. We got the beautiful Carolyn Pearsall joining us on the chat. Thanks as always. Remember, hit the subscribe button. If you're not sure how, log into your Gmail account. If you have Gmail, you also have YouTube. So you can log into YouTube using your Gmail credentials as the Penguins kind of overplay a puck there. The Rangers get control, working down low, trying to pull it from behind and force it in. It'll be none other than Halliday clearing it out. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity here for the Penguins. Halliday to the backhand, behind the cage. He'll pull it free, centering one for Carlson. He's defended to the outside, following up Halliday deep in the Ranger end. Eight minutes and 45 seconds to play here in period two. Penguins two, Rangers one. As the Rangers gain the zone, great gap by Bolas. Oh wow, what a play by Bolas there. Holy moly. Just disrupting things as Carlson digs it out, gets it to the line no further. Shot comes in, here's the side of the net. Another. I think that went off the side of the cage that yeah. time. Bolas was right there in his face. Love to see it. As the Rangers set up in the Penguins end now. Foster chops it up the wall. Jones there to get it. It comes back to the point. Carlson trying to tap it out the center. Now Jones battles along the wall. And there it is, there's that Shaq Fu, that Shaq Diesel ability of Jones to box things out. Rangers maintain that low cycle, coming out in front, picked off by Bolas, uh, oh. wedged up high. Like Bolas is knocked down and we get a high stick on the play. The puck will come all the way to the Ranger zone with 7.55 to play here in the second. Jeremy, spectacular shift by Tyler Bolas. He made a couple amazing defensive plays there. Uh, and even at the end, calm play with the puck. Went with the high uh, backhand out of the zone. It was high stick by mid Fairfield, but just a stellar shift by number 92 for the Penguins. It'll be Pearsall to take the face off. Matched up with 87 from the Rangers. Pearsall winning it cleanly. Shot comes in, bouncing puck and eludes the cage. Pearsall first one to it in the corner. He'll peel off that wall, reversing deeper. Now it's Costa. Costa behind for Brenneman. Poked past him, he'll battle and actually end up on the ice as he works hard. Here's Pearsall along the half wall. The Rangers overtake and come out the center before being turned back the other way by Pelly. Pearsall cutting across, able to get the puck. Penguins are in, oh, oh just boy. a step off sides is Brenneman. Yeah, I want to see that puck deep. You saw the Penguins, good cycle down low there. Uh, when that puck's down below the mid Fairfield netminder, 
That's when they're at their best. Pierce Shaw to take the face off outside of the Ranger zone. One back towards Pelly. Pelly will get there. He'll go off the boards behind for Chappie. Chappie to the near corner. They'll battle there. Swatted at by Chapel. What do they call him? What's the call? He whacked the puck out of the air. It's, hand passes are legal in the defensive zone. What's the call? Are I, they calling a hand pass in the defensive zone? Or it's a, the only thing I can think of. Or a high stick? I'm not totally sure. Maybe. Yeah, the and the mid-fairfield bench is not happy about whatever the call is. Seven eleven to go here in the second period. Face-off going to be to the left of the squish tender. Defensive zone draw. Carlson to take the face-off. Flume and Golnack with Pelly and Chapel. As the Rangers. Smack it towards the cage. Pe Chapel controls, reverses to Pelly. Pelly up for Flume. Flume with a good stick lift there to control along the boards. The Rangers play takeaway though. And will battle in that half wall area. Kicking at it. Chapel coming along to support Carlson. Rolling puck out in front. Pulling to the backhand. And what a move to the backhand. Up and over the shoulder of Squish. As that player gets out to the middle. And fires one high over the shoulder. Yeah, it looked like the Penguins, you know, had a few chances to possibly get the puck out of the zone, and midfield just swarming on that pressure, that forecheck, not allowing the Penguins any time and space. Uh, they get the puck, and uh, very nifty play in the high slot backhand, uh, and, and we're not at a two. And the Rangers will put a different line on the ice for a few seconds. As they get it to the Penguin line, Swiped that by Bros, controlled by Pearsall. Pearsall up for Jones. Jones darting into the offensive zone. This line's been dynamite for the Penguins as he centers one looking for Halliday. I'd be looking for Halliday too. I would as well. As the Rangers send it all the way into the Penguin zone, Bros and track switch. The Rangers deploying a definite trap style here as you see that first four checker actually going to the other defenseman. Feeling like they've been exploited by the Penguins' D to D play there. You watch that four check, and they're trying to cut that pass off. As it comes off the stick of Jones, it'll or of Halliday, it'll be an ice. Last shift or two, it hasn't had the same feel as the rest of the period. And uh, you'd like to see the Penguins, uh, you know, get a shift, reestablish some offensive zone pressure in the mid Fairfield zone. But uh, yeah, it's been all mid Fairfield here the last few minutes. Icing on the Penguins will bring the face off to the near dot of the Penguins end. Yeah. It'll be Carlson leaned over. Battled for and Carlson will come away with it. Chopping it along the boards. Not Penguins, sure. I, I, one thing I've noticed earlier in the game, and maybe on that last unable to clear, mm -hmm. body position. I feel like the Penguins are reaching back at times for pucks, trying to drag them with them mm -hmm. instead of using the body to get between the Ranger player and the puck and get control. And yeah. so if they can get back to using those body positions, get the body between the player and the puck, and you'll have more of a chance to get control of those pucks along these half walls on the breakouts. Yeah, most of the pressure you see from Mid Fairfield, most of the scoring chances are on the rush. That was one where uh, they were able to set up some zone time and really go to work. As the Penguins put one in front, it comes off the goaltender and Golnack, where, I'm sorry, Costa was there, couldn't quite find the biscuit. The Penguins are right back in the mid-fairfield zone. Here comes Brenneman as it's booted back out to center by a Ranger defense. Burroughs goes indirect off the boards in a smart play. They were bringing two heavy four checkers there. Penguins get a line change, and in that line change, the Rangers will fire it all the way down the ice. Five fresh bodies for the Penguins. The Rangers control in the Penguin zone as they send one across off the squish tender and cleared by Foster. Foster up for Golnack. Golnack to Pearsaw comes off of his skate and the Penguins just couldn't quite connect. 
now driving in the Rangers. Foster there, and a diving cover by the squish tender. Great defense there, Tyler Bolas and Danny Foster. Just shutting down the talented winger for Mid Fairfield, Peter Leiden. It was coming with speed yep. through the neutral zone. Penguins looking for a bounce back shift here. As Pearsall to take the face off. Taken to the corner for Bolas. Bolas chops it behind for Foster. They come out from behind. A one-timer great stick by Pearsall. And back come the Penguins. It's a potential three on two, maybe four on two as Pearsall drives in. The Rangers getting back pressure. Back, Flume shot, sails wide. Oh! Golnack is boarded from behind, and that should be a major penalty. Oh, thank goodness Golnack pops right back up. Boy, that was a scary play. And... Uh, it's going to be at least a minor for boarding. Not sure if they call anything else. Scary play. The referees did not come together to discuss, which almost always happens when you get that 2 and 10, 1 yep. and a half and 8, or a major penalty. So it looks like it'll just be a minor for boarding. And a, a pretty vicious hit from behind. Golnack, okay, up and back at it. Not to worry, Melissa. He looks good. He always looks good. Wow. That's true. He gets that from his mother. That's true. <laughs> As Penguins head to the power play here. It'll be Flume down low for Foster. It'll rim all the way around. Pierce all over to get control of it here. As he comes off the wall, sending one in front, rolling puck. Kept out, Pearsall stay with it. Flume winding, firing off the chest. Picked up by Pearsall. He goes one way back, the other shot coming in from, was that Golnack? And somehow the goalie has it. Wow. Wow, great pressure down low. Uh, working that puck behind the net back and forth. And I think it was Golnack who almost got it. That would have been a, a, a sweet redemption, Jeremy. Yes. If he, he could have buried that one. 2-2 Two -two tie here with just under four minutes to play in the second period. See number 12 out there, Leiden for mid-fairfield. He's going to be looking to... Uh, Find a shorthanded play here. As Golnack comes in on sides. 12 for the Penguins, Pearsall. In the battle, it'll be swiped away and out to center. Halfway through the man advantage for the Penguins is Bolas. Able to find Flume. Flume hitting Pearsall. Pearsall gains the zone. Twisting with it as he possesses. He was looking to go to the point a couple times there. The Rangers cutting it off. Pearsall will force it deeper. Two Rangers, one Penguin. Penguins got to outnumber here with the man advantage. Golnack coming across, making a play. Battling down deep comes Flume. Flume will carry it around behind the cage. The Penguins winger over for Pelly. Pelly has a roll off, is sticking back on the Rangers. It's a potential two on one. Broken up by D'Angelo Flume, and back comes Pelly. Pelly's in with a move around one, swiping it towards the cage. It's blocked. Rolling puck picked up by the Penguins defenseman Pelly again. As he twists all around. Firing it backside feed. He was looking for Golnack penalty over on the Rangers. Twisting out from behind is Halliday trying to wedge one in. He did that yesterday on just what was a man out muscling boys. Yep. As back come the Rangers. Chapel. There's the body I was talking about we didn't do earlier. Yeah. Chapel yep. using the body and that Ranger can't get around him. And back come the Penguins. Excellent work by the Penguins here. Getting it deep in the Ranger end. Jones there, supported well by Carlson along the half wall. They'll advance it, Jones. Twist one, back in front, he was looking for Halliday. It'll be disrupted here by Carlson as he'll get control out at center and find Bros. Bros to track, track up the boards, picked off by the Rangers. Penguins forwards didn't flow over far enough as Bros will get to it. He'll fire it all the way around Jones. Jones, no, no stranger to using that body, and there it is. Here comes Halliday. the body to disrupt and, and get possession as Halliday oh. darts in. And we're going to get a slash, aren't we? Yeah. I was just about to say, you know, the Penguins have had a power play. We know that this mid-fairfield team can be dangerous. Staying out of the box is so critical against this team. But uh, now they're going to send their PK out and uh, try to kill this one off. 1.35 to go in the period. 
So for most of the rest of this period, the Penguins will be shorthanded. And the vaunted mid-fairfield power play will take the ice. It'll be Pearsall to take the draw. Rose rims it around. Brenneman gets to it, and the Penguins clear the zone. Here's Pearsall. Will he get a shorthanded opportunity? As he darts in, fires a backhander that's gobbled up by the goaltender's paraphernalia and held. But you were talking about 12 in white. Look at 12 in black looking for shorthanded opportunities. Well, we like to play there to keep the puck in the mid-fairfield zone, a face-off in their zone. Let's keep it out. You know, the best way to defend on the power play is uh, on the penalty kill is not to have the puck in your zone. Like the face-off there in the mid-fairfield end. As mid-fairfield will come through center. Winding up and getting the Penguin zone. Hitting a trailer coming down the middle as they drag to the middle. Rolling puck, shot over the cage. Picked up there by nice Fairfield. Good job by Bros to disrupt. Track in front, a centering pass. Comes off of a stick and wide. Here's Pearsall, down low in the corner. Possessing, he's oh, tripped up trip. on the play. Clear trip, no call, and Red Fairfield with an opportunity because of it. Up to the point as they twist, staying on sides, driving in. And the Penguins turn it back the other way. Back to the point go the Rangers. A complete scrum in front of the net. As they wind, they fire. Comes off of something in front of the corner. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's a high stick. And the Rangers will touch. It'll come all the way down. So the face off all the way to the Ranger end. On the high stick. Some coaching here from the broadcast booth. They touch that puck. The mid-fairfield team gets to keep it in the zone. Now with, uh, oh, the, the clock is running. I don't know why. Oh, uh, they forgot. The, oh. the parents coming unglued. They didn't start it after the first phase, after that last face off. They did not start it. Well, that's been a long time then. They don't need any more power play time. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. 24 seconds. On the uh, holiday penalty here, 29 to go in the period. And the referees are talking to the scorekeeper. <laughs> are they going to run any more time? Doesn't look that way. Both benches get an explanation. Like to see a face-off win here, Jeremy. Maybe bring it back and then send it back in deep. Uh, just try to keep that puck in almost 30 seconds to go in the period. Try to keep it low in the mid-fairfield end. As a goalie dad, I'd like to see three pucks end up behind the mid-fairfield net in the next 24 seconds. That'd be great. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're sending, they're sending somebody. And a great play there by Brenneman to knock the puck down. Chappie will battle at center. Just working. Pearsall to the puck. Ooh. All the way across for Pelly. Pelly up the outside. Oh, what a play Brenneman by Brenneman. able to knock it out of the air. With 10 seconds to play in the period, the Penguins looking to try to get one. It'll be cleared out the center, put back in by Pelly. And we are going to head to the third period, knotted at two. Wow. Third period coming your way after intermission here.
right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Plymouth, Michigan. It is heart attack time for goalie dads. Third period, game tied at two. Number one and number two in the U.S. unbeaten this weekend against Canada. They are facing off here in what is a pseudo semifinal, listed as a semifinal, uh, as the U.S. teams will face and then the Canadian teams will play in the next matchup. As Carlson looks for Brenneman, that's picked off and back come the Rangers into the Penguins and dumping it in behind the Penguins. It'll be Pelly twisting one way, trying the other. It'll pop free for Brenneman. Brenneman will treat, retreat and carry in front of his own net with speed. Has it knocked away and he'll try it again. Oh, look at them winding up. Up the outside comes Costa. Costa joined by Carlson. Now Brenneman, Carlson with it. He'll fire it in behind. Brenneman chasing it out right after it. In front, here comes a heavy shot from Bolas that skips through, but just wide of the cage. I think it came off of something in front there. Yeah, good shot by Bolas through traffic. As the Rangers regroup up to center ice, they'll dump it in behind the Penguins. Foster back to get it. Foster across for Bolas. Bolas stopping, twisting back the other direction. He and Foster will reverse again. Now Flume with it. Flume banking it off the boards, looking for the OG who comes crashing back in and they'll find Pearsall. Pearsall one on the Rangers here as he gets to the Ranger line by himself. But the Penguin pressure forges one to Flume, rolling puck and they get it down deep. They couldn't, but Golnack stays with it. His centering attempt blocked by the Rangers comes to the point for Bolas. Bolas cross ice feed, finding Flume through that seam. Flume knocked to the ice and the Rangers come away with it. Nothing called there. I think that's a good no call. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm good with it. And here comes the big line of mid Fairfield. As it'll be sent back behind Bolas. Able to find Flume. Flume. Twisting it out to center for Carlson. Carlson to Jones. Jones driving in. Can he get the angle? He does. Firing a back in and a blocker saving a beauty. Well, you like Carlson crashing to, to the net there. Mid Fairfield made a good play to block blocks him out. As the shot comes in on the squish tender, he'll cover it up and get a stop and play. Jeremy, they've played, uh, you know, this is their fourth time in the last eight days. Two of the games that we played against them had kind of blowouts. One for midfield, one for the Penguins. Both had second periods that were blown wide open. Our second period here was still very tight. This is all going to come down to really who wants it more in this third period. Who can make a play? Hopefully it's the masked man in black. They're gonna need one from him. And I know he'll do, he'll be there when they need it. As they battle in behind. Jones trying to wedge it around with one hand. It's turned back, it'll be Bros in the corner now. Bros up for Halliday. Off the boards, it's kept in by the Rangers. Rangers tilting the ice here a bit in the last 45 seconds or so. Back behind the Penguins nets, tracks battling. He's supported well by Jones. The Rangers darting in and out in support. The big body of Jones in there, working hard. And there's the Penguins doing a good job of keeping the danger to the outside. Up the wall, off of Jones, swiped up the center ice and twisting with it, Halliday. Can he gain center ready? Will. He'll dump it in off of a Ranger. Rangers get control, Penguins changing. But plenty of Time to complete that change as the Rangers back to the Penguins line before Brenneman cuts it off. Now another play, rolling puck, grabbed by Pelly oh. and possessed. Nice. Pelly's pass off of a shin pad and it'll end up right in front of the Ranger bench. Two Penguins in on the four check. Now Brenneman disrupting and Pearsall supporting. The Rangers get control and wedge it in. Squish will have it come off the body and picked up by Chapel. Chapel cross ice feed, spinning with it. Brenneman, he chips it by. Can he swipe it to the middle? He will. Pearsall following on. Gets it towards the cage, defended well by the Rangers. Oh, oh boy. That is a tough, tough call. And, and I'm good if you call it, Jeremy. I'm good if you call yeah. it, but you got to call it both ways. That's all we want. That's all we want. And uh, there were a few plays very similar to that that uh, the Penguins didn't get. But uh, you know what? We're going to go back to the penalty kill. And the Penguins killed off the last one in expert fashion, so they'll have another chance at it here with 10.55 to play in the third. 
Boy, oh boy. Third period, defensive zone draw for the Penguins. Wow. <clears throat> Does everybody know where the defibrillator is inside the arena? <laughs> I think, is that Golnack on the draw or is that Carlson? I think that was the OG. Well, pick one off. Trying to go the other way, the Rangers keep it in. Penguins are looking to pounce there. It looks like it's Pearsall, Golnack. Is that Chappie and Pelly? As a shot comes in, waved out by the Penguins defense and forced to the corner. Send it, just send it. Pelly to the puck, up for the OG along the boards. Can the Penguins clear here? They can't, Rangers on it. Pearsall will ramp it off of a stick out the center. Looking for one, the Penguins get one off. Carlson, fresh body on as the Rangers gain the Penguins end. And they work it to the outside here. Dangerous spot. Big save by Squish. Cleared but not out by Pelly. Kept in by the Rangers. It's all Rangers here on the man advantage. As they cycle off the wall, it'll come free to Chapel with a Murphy dump out the center. It'll come the whole way down. Nobody cares if it's icing. Penguins needed a change. Oh, what a, that's the perfect dump, Jeremy. It is a perfect dump. As the Penguins play takeaway in the Ranger end, it's Carlson trying to center one to Flume. It'll be kept in by B B B uh, Bolas with a shot off a shin pad. And with 13 left on the man advantage, the Rangers are back in the Penguins end. Heavy shot off the squish tender and directed all the way to the glass above and behind. And the Penguins able to clear. That should do it for the power play. Wow. Great play. And no icing on the play. So the Penguins kill the man advantage. The Rangers still with this unit on the ice. They're getting a change now as Foster possesses, goes off the board, picked up by the Rangers though. The Penguins need to get back in sync here as a shot comes in wide of the squish tender from the blue line. It'll be Foster up the wall. Penguins just trying to get it out here all of a sudden. Penguins gotta possess and make a play. Yep. As they reverse, it's all Rangers right now. That penalty giving Rangers a ton of momentum as the puck rolls into the middle. Defended well by Burroughs. They're just faster right now. They're getting all these loose pucks. Penguins a bit disjointed. We're, we're putting pucks in places where we don't have teammates. Here comes the good breakout. As Flume tries to send it across, it's picked off by the Rangers, but forced out the center. Rangers are right back in. All Rangers right now. As a shot comes off the squish tenders, blocker side this time. This might be these couple saves the Penguins need to get back in rhythm. Penguins need a, a probably a whistle here yeah. if we can get one. I wouldn't mind an ice. Yeah. Just send it. As Halliday is going to get to it at the Penguin line. He'll get to the red line. Find Brenneman trying to twist into the offensive zone. The lines are a bit jumbled as Carlson gets to it. Fakes one way. Picks it up. Tries for the point. That's picked off and back come the Rangers. A potential two on one. The pass to the middle doesn't connect and Track will pick it up. Nice play by Track there. Excellent read. He looked like he was just going to throw it up the wall as the Penguins turned it over again. This time, it's the Rangers carrying it through the middle of the ice. And, and there it is. The, there there's there's the call back as Carlson's hauled down. Here comes Halliday with speed. The Rangers will get control and the Penguins head to the man advantage. Boy, oh boy. High drama, Jeremy. 7.36 to go in the third period. The Penguins heading to the power play. I'm not Coach Hannon, but if I were, I would certainly think about getting big number 19 on the ice. He was just out there, so I think he's going to be at the, the end of a shift. Wow. Okay. Drew Carlson finding a, a, a stool for himself to sit down on. He's so, uh, so excited here. Working the cameraman duties here on Cine TV. We've got... Color commentator, the Commodore George Pearsall, play by play by Jeremy Evans, the producer. Jeremy is the, Evans is the Penguins set up the power play. It's Pearsall in the corner. Up to Pelly at the point. Pelly back to Pearsall. Pearsall, shot from down low. That's blocked. Yeah, got to win those battles there. Swiped that, but kept in by Pelly. He'll shoot it. Looking cross ice for the stick of Chappie. Chappie using the body to try to get control, but the Rangers will, and back they come. One on one here, short handed. Pelly defending as the shot comes off the squish tender, putting it to the corner for the OG. Owen Golnack, and there's that body position I was talking about. Uses the body and the Penguins end up with the puck. Falling down with it, Chappell, but he's able to get it to Flume. Flume back to Chappie. Chappie will give way to Pelly. Pelly's heavy shot just snaps off the blocker side. 
Good scoring chance there for the Penguins as the Rangers play takeaway. Nobody oh up high. Oh boy. Back comes Flume as Leiden darts in. Twisting, turning, putting on the Ritz. Knocked down on the play, no call. Yeah, they're yeah, going to call it. They have to call it. The Penguins with no defenseman back on that play. Yeah. That was Flume defending at the point. And he ends up hauling down a Ranger and the Penguins are back to the penalty kill. 24 right. seconds left on the, on the Ranger penalty. I mean four on four hockey. Yeah, that's a tough play. Looking at the replay, I see, I see Flume, Pearsall, and Brenneman actually um, on the back check. And part of that, I think, chapels the net front presence there. Mm -hmm. uh, but timeout, Rangers. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there are 24 seconds to go in the Penguins' power play, uh, or in the Penguins' penalty. So you're going to see a, a man advantage for about one minute here for Mid Fairfield. About uh, 30 seconds or so of four on four, followed by about one minute of power play action, 6.30 to go in the third. So maybe nothing more important right now than this faceoff. If the Penguins can control this faceoff, they may be able to get the puck into this end, possibly get an offensive chance, but more importantly, have the Rangers start their man advantage 200 feet yeah. away from the Penguins' net. That's right. So this faceoff right here could be a gigantic faceoff opportunity because if the Rangers control, they've got four on four possession in your end with a lot of space and a dangerous team. That's so, true. You know, it'll act as a full power play if they can control this draw. Absolutely. And I don't feel like the Penguins have been particularly strong on the faceoffs today, right? And I say that as the father of one of the guys taking the faceoffs. Uh, I think I feel like they have been. Uh, it, it, it's not necessarily a one person faceoff. It, you know, the teams win, the teams mm -hmm. lose faceoffs. But uh, right here, boy, a really critical draw in the Penguins zone. So it looks like it'll be Carlson. Is that Brenneman on the wing? And the tandem of Bolas and Foster, the defenders for the Penguins. Probably looking at a couple more big stops. 87, 12, 15, and 19. For not a Fairfield. surprise. No, no, not at all. <laughs> As oh! Carlson's tripped on the faceoff. Oh, oh boy, the Rangers get away with one. Shot kicked away by the squish tender. And here's what I was talking about. The Rangers control that draw. It'll be like a full minute and a half as they come in from the outside. Squish there to make the stop. Great save by Squish. Yeah, they're, they're almost behaving right now like it is a power play. And the Penguins like it is a penalty kill as he blockers one away. Bolas reversing for Foster. Penalty over on the Rangers. Penguins will fire it up all the way to the Ranger end. Oh, Bolas. Brenneman. Oh. Brenneman has it come off his shin pad as he's hobbled. Pearsall jumps up on the four check. It's banked off the boards for the Rangers at center. They look to gain the Penguin zone. Dodging to the middle. Pulling it back up on top. Sending a feed across backside. They're trying to get this shot open all day. There it is. Into the chest of the squish tender who gets a cover and a hold with 37 or 34 seconds left on the man advantage for the Rangers. Ice in the veins of the squish tender. Puck comes on goal. He doesn't go down. He stays up. Plays the puck up high off the chest. Great play. Power play for the Rangers. Up top. They gained a ton of momentum from their last one. Right back to that same spot. This time a seam pass that comes up. I think it's off the iron. Did that hit crossbar? Uh, I thought it just shot it over the net. The Rangers back to it. What a seam play that was. 15 seconds to go in the penalty. A heavy slap shot wide of the cage. Controlled again by the Rangers. Faking one way. Down low. Working out of the corner comes Mid Fairfield. Five seconds to go in the power play. Rangers control. Penguins are going to get a player back here in short order as it goes to the corner. Power play over. Penguins need to get control here. Rangers have had it for most of this last 90 seconds as they work it out in front. Bouncing puck off a defender cleared by the Penguins. A rolling biscuit. Can Halliday get there? He just couldn't pull it around. He'll keep the pressure on, though. Here and comes a Jones. rolling puck for Jones. He gets control. Finding Carlson. He'll weave to the outside. Carry inside. Centering pass. Picked up by the Rangers. Unreal action here, Jeremy. This is what you want from one and two, right? Four and a half to play. 420 left, actually, in the third. As the puck comes into the Penguins end. Cutting to the middle. Leaving it there. Can the Penguins counterattack? No, they won't. The Rangers still with this unit on the ice. Over two minutes here. As the Penguins play takeaway. 
It'll be Jones with speed through the neutral zone. Joined by oh. Costa and offsides at the line. I don't mind that offsides play just to get a face off, get everything settled down. Boy, what action here. Uh, I haven't been doing the unofficial Commodore shots on goal, but uh, I'd say it's pretty close right now. Probably give the edge to mid Fairfield. Just great action both ways. Puck in front of the Ranger at bench as it's banked off the boards, pulled through, and the Rangers into the Penguins end. Back pressure wow. by Brenneman. Love that. As a shot comes in off a body, and there's the score tender with the Ranger on the doorstep to get the save and cover. Sweet buttery crumpets, that was a beauty. Wow, what a save there by Squish. Tracking that puck as it was deflected towards the net. And Jeremy, we're getting a shift now without that top line in mid Fairfield. You'd like to see the Penguins take advantage of that. Shot in from the point, tracked and held by the Squish tender. Boy, some face off after face off here are being won by CJR, by the mid Fairfield team. You gotta win these face offs. Uh, Get that puck out of the Penguin zone. Puck kicked in towards the net. Gathered by Chappie, he'll rim it around for brother Joey. Joey up the boards. Couldn't quite clear, it's put back into the corner for Chappie. Chappie behind for Pelly. Pelly off the boards for Brenneman. Brenneman twisting it up the wall, it's picked off by the Rangers, they're right back in. Right in front, swiped that by Chapel and ends up behind the cage. Trying to center it, defended well by the Penguins defense corps. Another centering feed, this one picked off by the Penguins, Brenneman, he'll get it up for Costa and the Penguins clear the zone, which is unfortunately all oh, they're hoping offsides. for right now and they'll get an offside play. Boy oh boy, you see uh, Lyde, number 12, for mid Fairfield coming back onto the ice and Jeremy, I don't know how they do it. They play a whole bunch of the game. They don't seem to get tired. And I, just, it, with 3.04 left, this will be the Rangers' last line change, I'm guessing. Yeah, I would agree. It'll be the Penguins, Flume, Golnack, Carlson with Bolas and Foster for the Penguins as they go D to D. Oh, boy. Look for Carlson here. I got a feeling. Golnack dumps it deep. Carlson will get up on the four check. His four check pressure forces the turnover to Flume. Back to Carlson. Playing head up, looking, looking, cross seam feed. There's the OG. Back oh. door for Flume. It was right there, baby. What a play. What a That's play. Carlson takes it away again, finding Golnack. His shot down. Oh, low, swatted at by Flume. Just kept oh, out. Oh, no. And the, oh, the Penguins boy. are going to get a penalty here, which is, I don't know what the call's going to be. That is ridiculous. That is a tough, tough call. And the Penguin parents are letting them have it. Looks like it's Flume headed off. I don't know the call. Was it a high stick? Yeah. The mid Fairfield player went down. Uh, they both fought for the puck in the crease. And uh, the mid Fairfield player stayed down. I think he bought one there. And with 2.30 to go, boy, what an absolutely tough call that was. Holy moly. Jimmy Halliday firing up the Penguins bench as the Penguins will head to the penalty kill here. Boy, oh boy. So the Penguins will have another penalty kill. Boy, oh boy, and yeah, we have a uh, just a, an unbelievable turn of events there as the Penguins were turning it up there. The Rangers will be back to the man advantage and the Penguins will have to kill it. Shot comes just wide to the blocker side of the squish tender. It'll be the Rangers controlling on the half wall. Watch that seam pass back And they'll just drive in and find the, and nobody defended it. He came right off the wall and give the assist to the referee on that one. An absolute terrible call. Put the Penguin shorthanded. Nobody defended him off the wall. Your best player comes driving into the middle and just fires one up and over the blocker side. I'm not even putting it on the scoreboard. Screw him. No, I will. It's just terrible that you have a game this good end with a call that bad. 
Well, Manhattan, there's still 2.15 to play. Yeah. So the Penguins need to regroup here. Penguins can tie this one back up with some play. That is a tough, tough call there. Wow. Let's see how the boys respond, Jeremy. This is why they play the game. Here's Jones down the wing. Into the Ranger end. Forcing one in front. A Ranger falls down, no penalty call. Back come the Rangers, weaving through center. Firing into the outside. Into the Penguin zone they come. Rolling puck defended well by Pittsburgh, taken over. Chopped to the outside. Up here's Jones. Jones coming in, has it knocked away. Penguins battling at center. Rangers will come away with the puck. 143 to go. They'll dump it into the Penguins end. Look for the squish tender to get off here with potentially this rush. As they play tic-tac-toe through the neutral zone. Golnack falls but gets it to Pelly. Pelly will dump it deep. Penguins in after it. Squish tender remains in the cage. Chappie crashing down the board. Carlson gets control. He'll go back to Golnack at the point. Penguins driving in, puck left up high. I think that's Flume, oh backside feed. Carlson now, Golnack, Flume driving down Main Street. Just couldn't connect, Rangers to the puck. They'll ice it. No, that's gonna be short. They're gonna say no icing. Yeah. It came off of Pelly, I think. As the Rangers dig it out, cut into the middle. Defended by the Penguins, Rangers with it. Backhand feed all the way across. What a Sports save. tender with a huge blocker stop there. 45 seconds to go. The Rangers just trying to hold it against the wall. And that'll go all the way. It should come all the way out. It, a is. Delay. it could be a delay of game penalty. They won't call it because it's on the team in white. Timeout, Penguins. I think you're going to see a face-off here in the neutral zone, Jeremy. It should come into the neutral. It could be a penalty on the Rangers for delay of game. They won't call it, but they could. So I think if you're the Penguins, you probably line up Squish, uh, you know, up near the hash marks, right? You get him closer, as we've talked about earlier this weekend. When the pull, when the goalie's pulled, the player from the bench cannot go until the goalie is on the bench. It's not like a regular line change where you get that leeway. So if Squish can cheat up, uh, that would certainly help with uh, 39.6 seconds to go. Who are you putting out here, Jeremy? Um, Squish. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't have an answer to that one. Uh, yeah, the Penguins can. The Penguins have three lines they can roll. I know who the Rangers will put out. I do as well. <laughs> I do but. as well. I mean, you think uh, you know the big body of Jones, the creativity of Carlson. I mean, you, how can you keep on, Halliday off Halliday's, when he's got your two? He's been unreal. That's what I'm saying. You've got so many good options here. It looks like the Penguins are going to have Chappie and Pelly at the point. Pearsall. Bloom and Golnack up front. I see Carlson at the door. And Squish is out of the net, uh, you know, eight or ten feet. Penguins need to win this faceoff here. The Rangers yeah. gather it. But it goes all the way into the Ranger end. Look at Golnack. The Squish tender firing off to the bench. There we go. And we get a whistle at the puck at the side of the cage. The referee literally followed Squish the bench. Like, like you couldn't pay attention to the game going on because he wanted to make sure that Squish got the whole way to the bench. That's the rule that's important. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. Carlson to take the face off far side of the Ranger zone. Six Penguin attackers. 30 seconds on the clock. Wedge to the wall. Flume tried to go to the point. Pearsall follows on. He's bumped from behind. That's a hook. It's not when it's in white. Here comes Pearsall trying to get it to the middle. Defended well. Bouncing puck picked up by the Rangers. They're out the center. Can they gain center red? They'll dump it in. Wide of the cage. No icing as they were able to get to center red. And next time we come to Detroit, we'll be sure to bring the lube. Thank you for joining us here on Cine TV. We'll go to the Commodore. Do you want to do the three stars? Yeah. I think we'll pass on it. Good effort by all the Pens. They played well, they played hard. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be here. Have a good one.